everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a great detox juice. I am actually getting ready to start a juicing cleanse and I think this would be wonderful for you to have in your recipe book if you want to go ahead and join me on the juicing journey. So I'll make another video all about that when, as before I'm doing the juice cleanse. But um, the juice that we're making today is actually a dandelion juice. And yes, it's dandelion like the weeds that you see in your backyard. By no means am I telling you, go to your backyard, start picking your weeds and sticking them in your juicer. Don't do that, please. I mean, we overprocess our yards nowadays with so much like killing the weeds, you know, growing the grass. You know, we, we don't know what we're putting onto our grass, so I don't recommend you going out there and picking the weeds from your yard. Go to the grocery store, try organic, because then you know exactly that your weeds, it's actually an herb if you want to go ahead and start eating it. I mean, you can saute it. You can do a lot of things with just the dandelion uh, green. So, I mean, give it a try. I always say don't knock anything until you at least try it once. And if even then you don't like it, try it twice. And then, you know what? If you don't like it, you don't like it. So, I mean, the uh, dandelion green, it's actually very bitter. Uh, to me, sometimes it even is a bit sour. The longer the stem, the sour, or not sour, the bitter it will be. The more bitter it would be. So I like to go for the smaller ones. I like to cut right where the stem begins and the leafy green ends. And I just chop it there, you know, I start chopping it so I can stick it into the juicer. And we, okay, so I'm gonna go over the stuff that we're gonna need for our juice. And what we're gonna go ahead and use is a stalk of celery. Celery, we've talked about this before. Great anti-inflammatory. Also, um, if you have high blood pressure, it helps regulate high blood pressure. So if you're someone that has high blood pressure or is concerned about blood pressure, I would think about consuming more celery, juicing however you want to consume it into your daily routine. Lemon, we've talked about lemon, I can't rave enough about lemon, so I'm using just a third lemon. I It's very bitter, so I don't want to add to the bitter sourness of it. We're using cucumber, we've talked about cucumber before, it's very hydrating and it's known to wash away toxins. So that's also very great to use. I add spinach onto my juicer simply because I enjoy the green color and to me baby spinach is very, you know, very bland. I don't taste it very well so it doesn't hurt the juice in my eyes. In your eyes, you know, if you can tell that you have it in there, I would omit it. That's just me. I like to add it greener. Just for like my eye's sake, I add a little spinach. Green apples, I have one green apple. Typically recipes like this um, are mostly two green apples. I think it's too bitter that way because of the dandelion, so I add a sweet apple. Whatever sweet apple you have on hand or at your grocery store, I'm actually using a pink lady today. So pink ladies are typically very sweet, so I'm using a Granny Smith and a pink lady. Pink ladies are just very sweet, great sugar, great dietary fiber, and then the green apple is also high in dietary fiber. So that's about it. I try to go over them as best as I can, just a little so I don't want to like throw so many things at you guys and then it goes over your head. Every little video I'm going to try to put in little teeny bits of nutritional background to every fruit and vegetable that we use and in this case herb. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and start to juicer up and start pouring our fruits and vegetable and herb into our juicer and we'll see you when the juice is all over. All done. <laughs> And we are done putting all our produce into the juicer and I mean that's I mean you guys saw everything that we had and I mean it's all pressed down to almost nothing so that's pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my mason jar so that typically is a good serving just for myself um, my family is a huge fan of the dandelion greens so more for me it's fine Ooh, perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir and try the juice out. That is so good. It does have a bit of a bitter taste, but I mean the pink, uh, pink lady apple totally hides the bitterness of the dandelion green. And I mean, this 
will help you cleanse like no other juice will. I can vouch for that. So, I mean, give this juice a try. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a cleanse soon, um, coming next week. And I'm going to go ahead and make a video on the cleanse just in case you guys want are thinking of doing it. You'll have something to reference back. And I still haven't figured everything out, but again, I'll make another video about that. So definitely give this juice a try. It's delicious, amazing, full of nutrition, and will do wonders for you. So again, um, hope you, subs or you subscribe. If you haven't liked my video, feel free to share, comment if you like the juice, if you didn't like the juice, if you guys have any questions. Um, oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is people have been asking for a great liver, uh, gallbladder and kidney um, to help maintain it. And this will definitely help maintain a healthy kidney, gallbladder and kidney kidneys because we have two kidneys so again go ahead and subscribe like i mentioned and i'll see you guys next time bye everyone